American Medical Response says between Nashua and Manchester combined, there were 64 suspected opioid overdoses in July. We're still below our 2019 or our pre-pandemic numbers. Um, however, you know, we are seeing an increase uh, over 2020, which is always concerning to us. Data shows a 17 percent decrease in overdoses since June. Narcan use by citizens before first responders arrive continues to rise. And numbers also show that current outreach efforts in place are having an effect. We want to make sure that the emphasis and the focus stays on availability of treatment, availability of uh, public Narcan. Uh, and, and also awareness. And part of that awareness, though, is spreading the word about the dangerous mix of drugs seen on the streets right now. Everything we see is manufactured synthetic fentanyl. Um, most of it coming directly from uh, Mexico. Stewa says that there is a need for more help, though. While Doorways of Manchester has seen recent success, he feels this program needs to be 24-7. It can be very challenging after hours to find a safe location for people to spend the night. If you want help, you can dial 211. The Doorways program offers treatment locations throughout the state, or you can stop by any Manchester firehouse for their safe station program. I'm Nicole Lally, WMUR News 9.